This is Alim from Javelin. Thickening or offsetting complex surfaces can be one of the most challenging tasks in any CAD software, including SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS has great tools for identifying the smallest radius of curvature, which usually can uh, be a good uh, predictor of the success for the offset operation. So if I go to the evaluate, I can run the check command, for example. Uh, let's check for this surface body, give me the minimum radius of curvature, check it. Uh, you can see here the smallest uh, is 1.1 millimeter and I can even zoom to, to that selection or um, I can ask SOLIDWORKS to show me where the face with the smallest radius of curvature is located. So it tells me that I can offset it to 1 millimeter and it's gonna work. Let's see if that's the case in, in both directions. So I will try the offset command for this body. It's a good idea maybe to pre-select it as a surface. So a couple of ways to do that in SOLIDWORKS 2016 and 17 is to call the breadcrumbs, select the actual surface body before you run the offset command. I'm gonna try one millimeter in this direction. Looks like it works. Let's go in the opposite direction. And it doesn't work. Uh, probably if I go two millimeter, it will fail in, in both directions. So in this direction doesn't work. Let's go the other way click OK and again it doesn't work. So what's happening if you really want a 2 millimeter offset? How can you ident identify what faces can be successfully uh, be offset and what faces cannot? So you can do a, a manual process you can say okay give me a 2 millimeter offset but instead of uh, offsetting the whole surface let me go face by face. So this does this one work? Let's click OK. Of course it does. It's a, it's a planar surface. Good. Uh, what about this one? So you can go one by one and you're gonna get to a point where this is gonna fail and then you know what what faces uh, would work, what faces would not. As you can imagine that is a very time consuming process. So what the Javelin Technologies did uh, to help our customers, we created a macro that would do all this offsetting face by face automatically. So allow me to start it. I'm gonna offset to 2 millimeter entire model. And um, let's click OK, let's see what happens. The, prog uh, the program starts and each face is going to be offset it on its own and you can see the green one, the ones that work are going to be green, the ones that uh, do not work I believe are going to be in red. So once uh, the checking was done, we will attempt even to knit whatever faces were offset. Were offset, sorry. Moreover, we will create an assembly of the original part and the new part, one on top of each other. So it looks like 114 faces worked out of 124, 10 of them failed. This is the assembly of both of them, one on top of each other. Let's, uh, let's open the old one, the original. The only thing that has happened here, um, the faces were colored in green, 
if they were successfully offset it and in red if they were not. So uh, that can uh, provide with uh, a pretty good uh, information in regards of what you might need to do as manual operations if, you, if you'd like to probably delete these faces, extend the other ones, do the offset and after that recreate the, uh, the fillet. Um, even, even so, we have the offsetted part, the one that's 2mm offset, and you can see actually what happened in this case. This, uh, the surfaces had to go through each other uh, in order to achieve uh, the end result. So I hope you like this uh, demonstration. Can, uh, in my mind, this can save a lot of time, uh, at the very least just for the troubleshooting phase, and sometimes even to get uh, the job done. Thank you.